Hello, my name is Luis Ange and today I'm going to teach you how to choose the best rubber dam for your cases. The best rubber dam that you can buy is... Wait, we'll come back to this later. Let me tell you the whole story first. We can split the characteristics of the rubber dam into four categories. Color, thickness, size and material. There are a wide variety of colors and we can divide them into two groups, bright colors and dark colors. Bright colors give greater brightnesses to the operative field but reduce color contrast. On the other hand, dark colors give less brightnesses but greatly increase the color contrast. For direct or indirect restorations in the interior teeth, we can use dark colors because the light reaches this area well. When we are treating the posterior teeth where the light is more difficult to reach, it is important to use brighter colors that can reflect the light. There are several thicknesses of rubber dam. Thin, medium, heavy, extra heavy and special heavy. Rubber dam with thick thickness are used mainly in endodontics for unit isolation. They are easy to put on but they tear easily. If we need to do multiple isolation, it is important to move the holes further away from each other. Rubber dam with medium thickness are used mainly in restorative dentistry for single and multiple isolations. They are easy to manipulate but they may tear with drills and wedges. Rubber dam with heavy thickness are used for difficult isolations such as deep margins, DSM closure cases, veneers adhesion, won't tear easily with wedges or drills, they are difficult to pass in the interproximal areas and they are more difficult to handle. There are several sizes available. For adults the most common size is 15 by 15 centimeters and for children is the 12.5 by 12.5 centimeters. The material which the rubber dam is made can vary between latex, nitrile and non-latex. Here it is very important to pay attention to the patient's clinical history so it does not cause any allergic reaction, especially when using rubber dam with latex. Rubber dam is mainly used for two types of treatments, endodontics and restorative dentistry. For endodontics, we need a rubber dam that is flexible, easy to manipulate and to put on. For this reason, the most common option on these cases are the thin thicknesses rubber dams. For restorative dentistry, we need heavy and extra heavy thicknesses of rubber dam to achieve a good tissue retraction that allows the entire tooth structure to be exposed. The best rubber dam that you can buy depends on your needs and your experience. My advice is to try different types of rubber dam taking into account all of the features that I told you throughout this video and draw your own conclusions. Why? Because the best in my hands may not be the best in your hands. In my case, it is the thick blue nickton that works the best in restorative dentistry. I hope you liked this video. If so, subscribe to see more content like this. Bye bye.